Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with my empties. I'm filming this way earlier this month than I did last time. So this will be going up way earlier, hopefully. <laughs> so if you're tuning in for the first time, I do my makeup empties first, along with any perfume samples that I happen to throw in here because I don't want those rattling around in this box. Then I do full size and travel size, and then I save the foil samples for the end in case you don't want to tune in for those. But everybody likes makeup first, so that's what I do first. Anyways, let's dump this out. I have my makeup samples in here too, so I'll just do all of those together. Uh, first off, we have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I like this. Uh, I can get pretty dang close to this in the drugstore though, so I don't usually buy the full size. I have one right now. It might be a de-slick, I don't know, but when they changed packaging, I bought it for half off. I have the Tarte Tartist uh, Mascara. Probably still has a little bit of product left, but it's definitely at the time to let it go. I wear contacts, so I don't play with, I don't, that is a expiration date I don't play with. But uh, I really, really like this mascara. My only issue is I occasionally poke myself in the eye with the wand. So I would probably not buy this, but I would be happy to get samples of it because I really like the formula. Just the wand is a little pokey for me. Next is something I used as a MAC Fix Plus, so I count it with makeup. This is the Ulla Hendrickson Grease Relief Facial Water. It does have that glycerin in it that is also in the MAC Fix Plus, but this is more expensive, ounce for ounce, than, than a MAC, so I would never purchase this in a full size to replace that. Ula Henderson does not test on animals though, so if you need a replacement for your Max Fix Plus, this worked pretty good. I've never found something that works perfectly as a Max Fix Plus does to kind of fix your makeup, make it all kind of meld in together and everything. But uh, this came really close, so I bought a three pack of these from, uh, what's it called? TJ Maxx, like a three pack of their facial waters. This was the only one that had glycerin in it though, so. The other two I wound up using up as toners. I think the other one might be in there. Here we have the Garnier 5 Second Blur Skin Renew. I used this as a pore filling primer. It was fine, but I don't think I would purchase it. I have stuff I like better. Here we have the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I love this stuff. I do think it's worth it because it is the only thing that totally holds my eyebrows in place because I have these really thick, wild hairs. But, uh... It is expensive, but a full tube of this lasts me like five to six months, so that doesn't really bother me. I just need to get through the stock that I have right now of other brow gels that I've gotten from different places, and then I would probably just purchase this again because I have purchased it in the past. It does make your brows country, crunchy. I don't care because it holds my brows in place, but some people are bothered by that. As I have to really try to hold my brows in place. Here I have the NARS Rakugian Lip Pencil. Uh, I really like the formula of these. This color on its own, I can barely even get a swatch of it, is super close to my natural lip color. So I would not purchase this color. I do have another mini hanging around that I plan to finish up this year. I would not purchase this color, but I like the formula, so I might purchase a different color in the future. Because it's like, if I wanted something that close to my lip color, I can get a way cheaper one than that. Chapstick. Uh, I actually really like the scent. This is the Total Hydration in Blood Orange. It smells really good. I would repurchase. I got this in a Target Beauty box. I'm trying to sneeze. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why I'm kind of making a face. Uh, but it did moisturize my lips. So yeah, I would totally repurchase that. This is the Essence Clear Lip Liner. This is made of wood. I don't like these. Especially for clear lip liners for most of the time. I prefer either the sharpenable plastic or the... Uh, twist ups. The only exception to that is the Urban Decay Ozone lip liner. I really like that one. I would not repurchase that though even though it is really cheap. We have the NYX Dark Circle Corrector in light. I did finish this. Um, this is alright. I like the color of it but the formula is a little too emollient for me. Most concealers are honestly for under my eye because I have really greasy skin and that does include my under eyes. So uh, I would not purchase this again, but if you have drier skin and you can find a good shade match because there's only three shades and that's not good. They have like a light, medium, and dark and it's peachy so it corrects. But if you can, if the shade works for you and you have 
drier skin than me, which is most of the population, this might work for you. I did really like, I really like the color. And like I said, if it wasn't, if the formula was a little bit drier, I would purchase it again. I'm the only person that wants drier formulas and things, I know. Uh, final makeup that's not like a sample. I think I have samples in there too. So I just hold off the samples until the end. No, wait, I don't know. We'll hold them to the end. I just put them in there. This is the MAC Strobe Cream. I really like this for mixing into a foundation to give it a little more of a glow. Um, I actually would possibly consider purchasing this in the future. I've went through three of these little minis this year. And it's a little expensive for what it is, one. but I really like the, how the color works well with the with foundations. Like it doesn't change the color too badly other than lightening it a little bit. I was trying to get a swatch, but like there's nothing left in there. But it's basically white with a little bit of a sheen to it. So if I use something too pink, it turns my foundation it can turn my foundations too pink. If it if I use something too dark, well I can get too dark, but it's really hard to make my foundation too light. It happens, but you have to try. Now I've got some perfumes. Uh, I have this mini rollerball of the Harvey Prince Sincerely. This is this is a perfume I actually really like. This rollerball is $23. I bought this from somebody online for a couple of bucks, but to buy this online is $23, which I think is ridiculous because I went through this in like five weeks. I'm not kidding about that price. Another really expensive perfume is the Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine. I was going to put this in my Mini Madness Project Pan, but I finished it before the update came. <laughs> Which, I can't be that mad at it, but I had to kind of scramble at the last minute to figure out something else to put in there. But uh, I really like this. I love the orange cologne scent of it. This is so expensive, so I just use the little sprayers when I get them, because they come up as like 100 point perks every once in a while. And I have three samples. The let's see, uh, Giorgio Armani C is fine. Viva La Juicy Rose is okay. Uh, if I'm gonna go a rose scent, I'm gonna go Stella by Stella McCartney. And we have Stella by Toka, which I did really like. I like their Julietta perfume more. That's the one that I would purchase, but that one was really good. I used to have bad luck with their perfumes, but I don't any. I finally found a couple that I like. All right, let's see. We have the J.R. Watkins Aloe and Green Tea Lotion. I normally like these, but this one I didn't. I don't know if it's gotten old or if it's something about the scent that changed the formula a little bit in this, but this was really hard to rub in and I didn't like the scent. And I normally really like aloe scents, but something about it and the green tea did not I have get these. Away. I got these in my, uh, shut up, Barksy Charm. These are the South Main Under Eye Gels. I really did not like these. I mean, they work as far as like depuffing a little bit under your eyes, at least temporarily. These would not stay on my face. Like if I had to hold them to get to somewhere to lay down and then lay down with them because the slightest movement upward, they would slide off my face. And not everything is like that. So this aggravated the piss out of me. I would not get those again. I also have some lip masks that I got from BoxyCharm a while back. These are the KNC Beauty All Natural Collagen Infused Lip Masks. These do plump up your lips a little bit, but A, they slide around, like it's a literal lip mask and it doesn't want to stay in place. And two, it tastes bad. If you're gonna make me something to put on my lip, do, if you can't make it taste good necessarily, do not make it taste I got bad. four paper masks. Uh, I got this from TJ Maxx. Make sure to check the dates on things like this when you get them from TJ Maxx because this expires uh, April 1st. So I was in a rush to use this. It is the Bosha Green Tea Mattifying Hydrogel Mask. Now for all the rush that I had to use it, I actually really liked it. It's a two-piece mask. So it has like the top part and the bottom part. Uh, it says it mattifies, soothes, and refreshes. I'm not entirely sure about mattifying because I was using it at night. I did look a little bit less shiny after I used it, but that, that could be anything. But uh, it really did feel, you know, soothing and refreshing. For full price, these are $8, which I do not think Bosch masks are worth $8. Now the $3.99 that I paid for it, it is worth that. So if you can get them half off at TJ Maxx and you make sure to check the date, my other one I have to use this month because it expires at the end of April. As long as you check the date on them, which you should, and to TJ Maxx stuff anyway, get these when they're half off, because they're really nice. 
I have two of another mask that I hate paying full price. So this is the Karuna Hydrating Plus Face Mask. I love these. These feel great on my skin. They are $8 a piece. I don't think they're worth $8. I swap for these on mysubscriptionaddiction.com. That's how I have a bunch of them. I love them, but holy crap. You can get four for 24 and that's in a little bit better. And finally, I have this. This is from Found Beauty. This is the Coconut Sheet Mask. Something has dripped on my desk. Uh, I didn't actually really like this. It just didn't do it for me. I think it smelled bad. <laughs> Like, it's supposed to smell like coconut. Let me smell the inside of it. Was that what was wrong with it or did it stay? It must have stung because it doesn't smell that bad. I don't know. I really should write down on the back of those what I think of them if I'm trying a new one because I don't always remember. The Bosha one I've tried recently enough that I actually remember about it. I totally remember what I think of this. I hated it. This is the Cure Pore Clarifying Red Clay Mask. This stunk. This stunk to high heaven. And I don't think it did anything. So I used it up because I wanted to use it up, but no, I would never get this again. I swapped for this. I'm glad I didn't pay for it. I have the Suave Dry Shampoo. This is great. Uh, it's only like three bucks, so I definitely recommend it. It does have a kind of grapefruity scent, so if you don't like fruity scents in your hair, that might not be good for you. It can leave a little bit of a white cast. I honestly need some dry shampoo right now. To avoid that, you do have to think ahead, but if you spray dry shampoo in your head the night before, by the time you wake up in the morning, it'll be rubbed in through your hair enough to where you're not greasy anymore. Like I said, you just have to think ahead. I don't always do that, but that's what you should do if you want to avoid that. This sucked. It is the Japanese Waterless Brush Cleanser. It smelled kind of funny, and I had to really fight with it to clean my brushes, so no, that's not any good. Oh, I'm so glad to be done with this. This is the Lancome Bien Fate UV 50 Plus Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. Uh, this is supposed to be for your face, but it made my face greasy. Most things do, so I can't be that mad at it, but I would definitely not pay the 40 bucks this is worth. Because while I did, finish a lot of, I did not finish a lot of stuff this month, I finished some really expensive shit like this, so it kind of saved my total, but uh, no, don't. If you are anything remotely greasy, don't buy this. And don't buy this anyway. It's too expensive for what it is. There's plenty of stuff in the drugstore that you can buy for sunscreen that are not expensive as that. Here is the Acure Ultra Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. I did not get along with Acure products this month because the shampoo did nothing for my hair. It's one of those shampoos where if my hair was dirty at all, as soon as I put it in my hair, my hair ate it and it didn't get clean. The conditioner was fine, but it wasn't anything spectacular, so I wouldn't seek it out again. And I need to make sure that if I get these again, to remember that I don't like them. Ah, here's the other Ula Hendrickson water. This is hair. This is the Truth Facial Water. I did like this as a toner, but this would be expensive as a toner. So, like these little bottles are $10 a piece. So, like, like I said, I got this in like a three pack at TJ Maxx, so I did not pay that. I think I paid $10 for all of them. Something in here leaked like crazy. I'm assuming it's one of those masks. I need to start sticking those in like Ziploc bags. Here's the 1004 Laboratory Acai Berry 90 Protecting Ampoule. I used this as an essence and it did work pretty well for that. Uh, Korean products are kind of hard to get, especially, you know, the lesser known ones like this. So I would not purchase this again, but if you have good access to it, it is a nice one. Here we have the Skin Fix Foaming Oil Cleanser. If you have dry skin, this would be great for you. However, I have oily skin and this was almost impossible to get off my face. <laughs> like it's really creamy and emollient and yeah, just, I can't use this, but I can recommend this to people with dry skin because if you have dry skin, this will not dry out your skin. Here we have a Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. I love these. I'm using another little mini right now. This is so expensive, but I think one day I'm gonna have to give up and just buy the damn thing. Here was a mask I did like. This is the Formula 1006 Pores Be Pure Skin Clarifying Mud Mask. This I will repurchase. I, this is definitely one of those that kind of tingles when you put it on because it's deep cleaning or whatever. I do feel like this actually did the job and it smelled nice. It actually had a little bit of a strawberry smell to it, which it is strawberry and yarrow, whatever that is. But uh, yeah, I did really enjoy this. So this I would repurchase, not the Acure one. And these are actually pretty cheap. I have the Trust Fun Beauty Lipgasm. Uh, for all my hate of that name, of the 
the scrub. It's actually a really good scrub, so I might purchase this. The only thing is I can go through this in about two months because it is a little bitty tube for like $8. That is like my only reluctance about purchasing it, but it is really good. Here we have, so it's like I did a swap with somebody and they sent me this as an extra. I don't know why, but I used it anyway. This is a Clairol Nice and Easy Cup uh, conditioner from a box of color and it, it, their conditioners are really nice. Unfortunately, you can't usually purchase these. Here we have the simple micellar makeup wipes. I know not everybody likes these, but I really do. So I, I will repurchase that at some point. Here we have the Kemet Biologics Cocoa Tree Detangling Ghee. I said on Instagram, I have no idea what a ghee is, but I like it in my hair. Apparently it is some kind of Indian butter. But it made my hair really soft and the cocoa smells really good. So the only thing is about this is that the full size is in a tub. <laughs> I, if it was in a tube, I would repurchase it in a heartbeat or purchase it in a heartbeat. I got this as a uh, deluxe sample code from Sephora. That tub thing makes me a little reluctant, but once I go through all of my hair lotion type products, I might purchase this anyway, despite my reluctance about the, you know, uh, packaging. And finally, before we get into samples, of which I don't have many, uh, this is a MAC Pro eye makeup remover. This works fine. It's a little expensive for what it is, so I would not purchase, but I will happily use minis when I get them. All right, sample time. Let's do the makeup ones first since I had them out. This is a Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in Light Neutral. I remember not liking this when I tried a lighter shade, but this one I wound up liking pretty well. Like it actually like stayed on my face. I think maybe the first time I didn't use it with the right primer, that happens sometimes. That's why when I do foundation reviews now, I try them for a week rather than a day because if you, if you, gotta, you gotta kinda mix and match primers to see what works with what. But I, I did really like this. I would consider purchasing in the future. I have two of these Skin 79 Super BB creams. Uh, they're both whitening. I don't know what the difference is. This one is gold and this one is hot pink. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, there wasn't enough product in either one of these for me to tell a diff for me to tell anything about it. I wound up just mixing it in with my regular foundation. And uh, these are the Smashbox Introducing Cover Shop Eye Palettes. I hope that the real ones aren't like this because this sucked. I don't know if just the formula didn't translate well to the paper or like the cardboard or what, but this was crap. Like it wasn't pigmented at all. Here we have the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. Um, this is all right, but I never figure out what the big deal is about this. Like, I don't know if it's, you know, really good for super sensitive skin or what, but when I try it, it's always just a basic ass cleanser to me. Speaking of cleansers, we have one from Ole Hendrickson, or three samples from Ole Hendrickson. Uh, these are the Find Your Balance Oil Control Cleanser. I used one of these one day as a uh, moisturizer. Don't do that. <laughs> I have three moisturizers right here that look exactly the same. That's why that happened. But uh, as a cleanser, it worked fine. Um, it didn't scream enough at me to make me want to purchase it. There's, there's stuff from this line that I really like. This is just okay. I did like the moisturizer more, the counterbalance oil control hydrator, which I was trying to use as a moisturizer one day and instead use the cleanser. This moisturized my face without leaving me greasy. Now there is other stuff that I can get. Most gel based moisturizers do that for me. So I would consider purchasing this, but maybe not. I don't know. I liked it better than I liked the cleanser. I'll put it that way. What I really like out of this line is the, the scrub. That I'm gonna purchase once I run out of face scrubs because that was really good. Oh, here is another foundation sample. This was the uh, Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation Stick. Uh, shell was too dark for me, but I managed to make it work on a cheek. And the formula did feel really nice. I would love to find a mini of this so that I could try it out, you know, in my shape, which I think will probably be porcelain. Uh, I did look at nude, but uh, that is never gonna match me. So I didn't even try it, but uh, I did like the, you know, formula as far as I could tell. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later. Bye.